welcome to a bit of a little bit of a rushed video. Um, I've been asked to have a look at another torch from uh, Olight, and it's the conditions have not been great to be doing this. And they messaged me while I was at work today and said, "Look, we're pleased, desperate, we need to get it out straight away because they have um, a sale on and an offer on, and uh, yeah, we need to get it out today." So I'm here doing this for you. It's not how I wanted to do it, but it's going to be done anyway. This is the Go Torch X. This is uh, light up your terrain light up any terrain. This is actually a bike torch. Uh, this is a light to go on your bike. It is a uh, 100 lumen daytime light. It's got a 1000 lumen normal low light and it's got a 2000, watt, a 2000 lumen high light. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick unboxing, show you what's in here. Then I'm going to put it on the bike and show you how it connects to the bike. Uh, but I've got other ideas for this. Um, this is more than just a bike light, I think. Um, I think there's a lot more you can use for this for. So I'm just going to show you this. Quickly, first of all, let's unbox it. This little plastic tub inside. And in this little plastic tub, you've got these um, rubber bungees. These rubber bungees are for connecting the power pack to the actual bike. You've also got... cable ties and inside here is the other attachment and really I haven't had this out I just haven't had time to get this out of the box and show you know to use it uh, there's the other part of the mount so that will go onto there so this is your handlebar grip so you mount this onto your handlebars and this is your GoPro mount which attaches your uh, camera to you also got some rubber bushments in there for different size handlebars so that's what you get in the box there you also get in the box your light and I'm just going to rip it all out and show you what we've got. This I have actually had out. I've had the light out before. This is your light. So you get this really big uh, light with this bulbous um, front end on it. And it comes with this little plastic cap. And you need to take that plastic cap off before you use it. But it just protects the bulb. On the top, you've got a massive great big button. Really big, easy button for pressing. You can press this on and off with a big thick pair of cycling gloves or winter gloves. You can easily turn this on and off very, very simply. And you get a flex on it as well. Now they get the flex and the flex is to attach to your power pack. <clears throat> so this is your power pack. Comes with a power pack and you have a USB-C charger in there. So you connect that to your USB-C, charge it up and it gives you a full power pack. Uh, you've also got a set of lights. You can press your button there. See, this is fully charged. I've got four lights on there and that tells me that I've got a full charge on this. You can also use this as a USB as well. So if you want to charge your phone or you want to run something off of this, a laptop or something powerful, uh, because this is quite a large power pack. Uh, I'm just going to read on the bottom what it is. It is a 4,500 milliamp, 14.4 volt uh, power pack. Uh, it's got a output of 11.2 to 16.2 volts, three amps. Uh, so it's quite a quite a pokey little uh, power pack to to use, and you can see it's about four inches by inch and a half. Uh, so it's got quite a quite a girth to it. There's a rubber bushman on there, which is what you attach it to your handle, to your not your handlebars, but you attach it to your frame on your bike. And then you've got these rubber bungees then that go over these little clips there and bungee it onto your bike. So let me show you that how that works outside on the bike. Uh, you connect your light. Your light is connected via this little plug socket. So you plug that into your plug like that, and it's a watertight. It's IPX8 waterproof. And once it's on, you can hit the button. And it comes on so you've got your first light you can see on the top there you've got this green led so you've got different color leds you've got a green led which means it's 100 percent charged green tells you it's got uh, plus 75 percent uh green 75 to 30 percent goes amber on there and then it goes to a red uh, which gives you a 30 to 10 percent and then down below 10 percent it starts flashing red so you can see on the top of there that how long you got uh, power wise how much power you've got in it just by switching the button on the top you don't need to be able to press this on the on the front of the uh, power pack so your daylight running switch it on and you've got 100 lumens you've got 100 lumens normal running power um, so we're, that's like a daylight for a security when you're riding your bike in the daylight you want to keep a light on all the time my electric bike's got a light on so i'm interested to see what this is like compared to that then when it's off you press and hold and it comes on with your bright light. You can see that it's a much, much brighter light, very, very powerful. And then if you press it again, 
you go up to your really, really bright light. That's your 2000 watt light. Press it once and it goes down to 1000 watts. Okay, so let me just turn that off. Press and hold to turn it off. If you go onto their website, you can see the website's actually on the screen next to me. If I was to go over there, you can scroll through. There's a lot of information on the website. You just basically go through and um, pick up all the information you need. Also in the box, I must remember this as well, that in the box, you also get a USB-C uh, cable. Now it's got a USB-C to one end and on the other end, you've got the standard USB. But if you take that off, you've got a USB-C. So you've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. So that's a good adapter um, for anybody, really. That's an absolutely fantastic little adapter, which means you can then charge it or you can plug it in and charge your phone. So if I was to plug this into my USB-C end on there, I can then take the other end of this and I can plug this into my phone and I'm just gonna quickly show you how it switches itself on. So if you watch my phone, you'll see that the charge light will come on. There you go. It comes on there, 75% charge it says. So I'll just do one more time for you so you can see it coming on 73%. So it does actually charge your phone. You get the power to run your phone if, you need, if you're out and about on your bike and you need that extra bit of power. Uh, take your USB-C to USB-C cable with you and it works fine. When you wanna charge it, plug that on the end plug that into a standard USB-C, and then that will charge your power pack back up. So absolutely brilliant, 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 brilliant idea. That is, I like that very, very much. Because uh, you're always out on your bike, and when you are on your bike, and you're riding around and using your bike for your maps and stuff like that, I mean, I've got a um, quad lock mount that goes on, you clip it onto your bike, and you can use your, you can use your bike, your, your phone for, for mapping and all sorts of things like that, so it's really good. Um, but you do run out of power, so by having that extra bit of power in there for running that, absolutely brilliant. Let's have a quick look. So you can see you've got a bike mount uh, on this screen here as well. You've also got it mounted to uh, a helmet. So you, because it's got a GoPro mount on the bottom, that's what I was saying before, um, because you have this GoPro mount on the bottom of the light itself there, it means you can attach it to any GoPro mount. So I've got a GoPro mount on this little tripod. You can, um, so yeah, you can have this on a mount, so which means when you go camping, if you're going camping, you get a power pack which for charging your phone or your um, iPad and stuff like that. And you can mount this up and you can have a light in your camping van, you know, in your, in your camping tent, in your campsite, wherever you want, you can have this little light that's attached to a ball head or a little mini tripod and you get this light. Uh, so I think that's a brilliant idea, that is, uh, the fact that it's got a GoPro mount on it. Uh, on there, you can see we've got, um, it's connected to a helmet. So if you've got your GoPro mount, uh, you can get these mounts that connect to your helmets. You can have it on your helmet or you can have it on your bike. Um, so yeah, a, a really good design that is to have that. Output, let's have a look at our outputs. So on our screen, it says it will run on uh, 2000 lumens. 2000 lumens is going to run for five minutes because it's a maximum heat and it gives off a lot of temperature uh, when it's got maximum power coming out. Uh, it will then drop down to 1300 lumens, which is still really bright. Um, and it will run like that for another 230 minutes. So that's four hours. Um, 230 minutes, yeah, pretty much four hours, 60 minutes, 220 minutes. Uh, so you're getting nearly four hours worth of running at 1,300 lumens, which is pretty good. Then after that, it's gonna drop down to 1,000 lumens and it's gonna run like that for 50 minutes. So it's all to do with temperature and it's running output. Strobe, no, it doesn't have a strobe and it doesn't have an SOS beacon. Now I would have loved to have seen this have an SOS beacon because if I'm out on my camping or I'm walking or hiking or doing photography, uh, I do love a torch that's got an SOS beacon because you can put it on and it'll flash away SOS, SOS, SOS until someone finds you. I think riding your bike, it would be a great upgrade if they could put an SOS beacon on this because if you do fall off, you have a, you come a cropper, uh, you're laying in a ditch, you're laying by the side of the road, to be able to flick this onto an SOS so it's actually warning someone, even a, a, a different color, um, a green or a red or anything sort of light. I know red's for re the rear light, but if you have a white SOS, at least someone can find you. So it would be nice for an upgrade that to maybe put an SOS strobe on it. Um, waterproof IPX4. Um, that is with all these plugs plugged into these. These actually plug in. They've got little little sockets on the side of them that you can plug them into. Uh, so it keeps the actual ends of the mounts clean and dry. Uh, as a standard running light like this, a standard running light will run like that for 89 hours. Okay, that's 89 hours. So daytime, you can ride this around all weekend and not have a problem with it. Um, so that's that's really, really quite cool as well. So that's that's pretty much what I want to do, unbox it. I'm going to take it out to the um, under the carport because it's absolutely raining outside. Uh, I'm going to get my bike out. I'm going to mount it to the bike, show you how it fits to the bike, 
and then just uh, finish off the video showing you that. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Oh, one other thing, one other thing, one other thing. Because it's got um, a cable on it, which you can see here. So because you've got this cable and it's extended, I now realize there's something else I can actually do with this. I can take this and attach it to my camera bag. So I'm just gonna quickly show you that, how it attaches to my camera bag. So when I'm walking, I could be completely hands-free. Right, so there is other, another reason. This is the reason. I have a capture clip on my camera bag. So I've got a capture clip attached to my um, camera bag, as you can see there, Peak Designs capture clip. And I've got one of these GoPro capture clips um, with the mount on it. So this light now attaches to this, which is where I had it on my tripod before. You can see there it was on my tripod. I can now take this, I can drop this into my capture clip, I can switch this on. And I've now got a hands-free light attached to my camera bag strap. So when I'm walking around with my bag on, as you can see, I put my camera strap on there, I can walk around now hands-free with this light on here and I can tilt it down or I can tilt it up in front of me as well. So it works really, really well. And all I've got to do then is tap the top of it to have light and power. I think this is a really, really good design. And the bag then has got me strapped there. You see my strap goes over and the power pack's actually in the bottom of my bag. So I can walk around now and I've got a hands-free light. So I think that's a really, really good idea uh, to have a light handy like that. And you can also take it off. And if you're looking around, you know, you can have a look around. If you're looking for stuff, you can move it around and have a look around and you can just drop that straight back on your camera bag. So this is more than just a bike light, okay? So I'm gonna take it out now, fit it to the bike and show you how that works. But so far, this is a big, a big thumbs up. Better than having a headlight because it's on your TED. You know, if you're hot and sweaty, you've got a light attached to your bag. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. One other thing before I go out to the uh, bike and show you, uh, I wanna show you this as well, because um, I did say to Olight, you know, if they're gonna send me a front light, they really need to send me a rear light as well. So you've got the big uh, GoTorch X, but they've also sent me the RN100LT, uh, sorry, TL. Uh, this is a smart tail light. Um, this, I think, is, is really fantastic. This is a, a brilliant little tail light. Uh, red light to go on the back of your bike. So as you can see on the screen, I've got the screen open there again for you. Um, it's got a red light, which is obviously for a rear light. Um, and I'm gonna put this on the bike at the same time as well. You get in the box, you get this uh, little mounting strap. So you get this little mounting strap that you basically wrap around your frame and strap it on. Uh, that gives you your mounting strap, okay? And then all you do then is you literally clip it on and unclip it. Okay, so this is a, going to be a very fast way of connecting a light to the back of your bike. Uh, this has got several different functions on it, and do bear with me in a moment, I will show you the functions. Uh, also in the box, you've got a, um, another mount. I'm just going to show you this as well. So you get another mount in this. This is called a seat under seat mount, uh, basically exactly the same way. If you don't want to mount it with this rubber strap, but I like the idea of mounting the rubber strap in one place and then having the seat mount mounted as well. So you've got these two little hooks, you get these cable ties with it as well. And this basically goes over the metal rails underneath your seat. And then again, all you do with this is you literally just 90 degrees and clip it on. Okay, so it's 90 degrees off. 90 degrees and clip it back on again. Don't matter which 90 degrees you go, you can go that direction or the other direction. Okay, so it clips on and stays on and it's a really, really nice compact little light. So power wise, let me show you what we got on here. This is gonna confuse me. I'm probably gonna to have to get the instructions out to have a quick look at this um, just to show you all the different functions on it because it does several different functions. Uh, brightness, have we got a brightness for you? We have. So. Uh, auto brake, it's got a brake, it's got a, an auto brake. I don't know how actually know how the brake works. I think it's like an inertia thing. As you stop, uh, it brakes. I've not been able to test that yet, but I would love to test it and show you. If I can, I'll pop it on the end of the video just to show you how that works. Um, but it's got an auto brake of 100 lumens, I think that is. I don't understand all the information you've got on the screen. I'm not sure how it works because I haven't had a lot of time to read up and check on how this works. But this, this, this light weighs 37 grams, so it's really, really light. But let me just switch on and, and show you a few of these functions. This is obviously uh, USB chargeable. There is a USB port in the bottom. It's a USB-C and it comes with this little USB-C charger cable there. Actually, it's a micro USB. It's not a USB-C, I tell the light. It's a micro USB and it comes with this little cable for charging. But you can see there this light has got different functions on it. Okay, so as I'm flicking it, you see it's going through these different stages of brightness. Okay, so as I double press it, it goes to different functions. That's doing it on its own now. 
let me just try again. It goes to another function. There's another function. It's got all these different functions that you really do need to look at the instructions to see how they work and which one you want to pick. Uh, I can't even look at it, it's so bright. This thing is really, really intensely bright. Um, and it's just doing it on its own now. It's just got these different functions that it's working on its own. Um, and as you can see there, it really is a, a very, very powerful, let's flick it again, there's another one. You can see it's got this like strobe light. And I'm just basically pressing the button at different, different ways to, to get all these different functions on. But yeah, this is a, a really fantastic little backlight and I'm, I'm more than pleased to have this on the back of my bike anytime, day or night. I think this is gonna be seen for miles and really does stand out. It's so bright, I've got red lights eyes in my eyes now. Um, so yeah, let's go and put these on the bike. Uh, I keep saying I'm going out there to put them on my bike. I wanna show you how they fit on the actual bike. So we have actually mounted it on the bike and I've got my hood up because it is chilly out here. It really is quite cold. I think it's like about two degrees. So I've mounted it to my crossbar, as you can see on the top there. Uh, very, very easy to mount. Uh, you've got this rubber, these rubber things that came with it like this. Uh, you basically put the rubber piece down, hook them over one side and just pull them around and hook them on the other side. It really is as simple as that took it on you can have it on the top you can have it on the bottom you can have it on the frame this way i've got a big chunky frame because this is an electric bike um, but you can literally clip this on anywhere and they've got two different sizes of these bungees to make sure it stays on and it's not going to come off and it's not going to damage your frame because you've got that rubber mount as well so once that's on you connect your cable or you connect the front of your your light i've mounted mine right in the center there i've got the little gopro mount on the front and the light is now mounted on the front there i've left it a little bit loose just so i can work out what angle i want it at once it gets a bit darker, uh, but it's on the front there quite nicely. Now it does come with a standard screw and Allen key. Uh, what I would be inclined to do, uh, if, I, if it was me, I would swap that screw out for a proper GoPro finger screw. Then I can do it up tight where I want to do, I can undo it and I can loosen it and slacken it to where I want. Plus I can undo that screw take it off of there and clip it onto my bag. So I don't need an Allen key to actually take it off. Uh, so yeah, it's mounted on the front, very, very easy. All I've got to do now is reach up there and press the button to turn it on and off. So let's just have a quick tester on how bright it is. I'm gonna point it towards you. And first of all, I'm gonna to switch the to power on on my electric bike and see if I can get this light to work first of all on the main bike, headlight on the actual bike. So press and hold and you can see I've got the headlight on the bike and it's just brightening up there. I'll try and shine it in your face so you can see the sort of brightness you get out of it. And I'm just going to switch this on to daytime and look at that for a daytime light. Look at the difference in this bottom light that's standard with this big battery pack and this little tiny light on the top there with this little tiny battery pack. What a difference. Now, if I press and hold and go to the brighter one, look at that for a difference in light power. <laughs> How phenomenal is that for a difference in light power? So what I'm going to do later on, I'm just going to take this out and give it a bit of a ride down the down the street uh, I'm going to go down put my GoPro on my helmet or put it on my bag and ride down the street and have a bit of a see how good this is but at the moment that looks so so powerful so so bright on the back of the bike what I've done with the back of the bike is I mounted the little mount on the bottom there I've actually used the under seat mount. It's a little bit of a fiddly mount to attach, but once it's on, it doesn't come off. It clips onto the metal rails underneath your seat. And then you've got these little cable ties that stop it from falling off. And then I'll take my little light, once it's charged up and just clip it on the back. Now I have actually got a light on the back already. I'm gonna switch this one on to show you the difference. See if we've got a difference in power. That's my standard light on the back of the bike. I think I've got a flasher on there as well. No, it's just a standard light. And then this one is the light that comes with this. There's a small green light on the bottom there. See when you press it, you get this green light that comes on for turning it on and off. So let's get switch that on and then we clip it onto the back of the bike. So we have to switch it on first because the switch is up underneath. So there, there you go. Look at the difference again in this, this little bright light there and this one on the top there. And then all I want to do if I change the modes is just stick my finger underneath, underneath the seat change the modes and have different mode settings so it will actually flash. But I like the really bright flashing light because it really does attract the traffic and um, the, you know it, it's an attention seeker and that's what you wanna be doing. You wanna be seen and you want attention. So yeah, really, really bright compared to the standard one. Same with the front, really, really bright. And I can actually put my finger on in the seat and switch it on and off 
like so. So when it gets a bit darker, I'll take it out, add it onto the end of this video just to show you what it looks like. But mounting wise, very, very easy, very, very simple. And what an absolutely powerful light. But again, it's more than just a bike light. This light can be used for camping. It can be used for hiking, for walking, and uh, anything else you want to do with a light really. Because of that GoPro mount, you can have it on helmet, on your shoulder straps, on your bag. Perfect. So till next time, ciao for now. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Give me all that thumbs up. And I am rushing. This is a rushed out video purely because I've got an hour to make it. And uh, yeah, I can't, I can't say much more than that for it. It's, it's a really good little light for a bike. Ta-da. Okay, so I hope you can see me. I've got the bike out and I'm just gonna head up the road to see how bright these lights are on the front of this bike. So, GoPro is facing up the road the best I can and uh, I've got a standard bike light on at the moment and I just want to switch on the main power just to see the difference as we're riding up the road. So this is the daylight running, turn it on, I can already see it's lighting up the front of that, the back of that van quite brightly and now I'm going to press and hold and put it onto the main power and oh my goodness that's extremely bright and I'm just going to punch it onto the higher part look at that for a brightness that is phenomenally bright so I'm going to leave it on daylight running for now just switch it on normal carry on up the road and see if I'm going to find myself a dark patch up on the canal and then we'll uh, try it out for proper so I'm just going to turn the power off I'm going to head up off onto the canal, which is very, very dark. And then we'll be able to see how bright this thing really is. So I'm just going to make my way down here. At the moment, I'm running with my standard bike light on. And this is just standard bike light, nothing else. So as soon as you get underneath these trees, you'll see the difference in this light. So that's my standard bike light. I hope you can see that on the GoPro. It's not going to be the best. And I'm now going to switch this on to the daylight running. And you can see that's already made a big improvement. And now I'm going to punch it up to full brightness. That is now a thousand lumens. And I can see everything along this canal. And then if I got in a position where I needed the extra brightness, I can just punch it up onto 2000 watts. And that is summer light. That really is a hell of a lot of light for riding along this canal. It's absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to knock it down to a thousand lumens and I'm going to pedal along and I'm going to turn around and head back the other direction because that is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. What a light that is. Wow. So, so bright. If you're riding at night and you've got a bike or even if you're walking and hiking and this thing's on your camera bag, that's a lot of light to be getting out. An awful lot of light. Standard. That's my normal white light. Thousand lumens, two thousand lumens. <laughs> it's almost like dry riding a bike in daylight. So so bright. And what I do is I'm just going to leave the bike here for a second and show you the back light. So. Let's just turn that off for a second. And this is how bright the bat light is on that mode, which is pretty intense. And if we change it to a different mode, you can see there that it's punching out and it really is quite bright and very attractive for 
oncoming vehicles. I think that one's really good, dead bright. Right, let's get back home. My tea's waiting. <laughs> Put our light back on. Night light, so that all the cars can see me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, he's going to get a bright light in his face. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. <laughs>